centrepiece of a Victorian Christmas dinner was either a goose or a turkey. And as the century went on, turkeys become more and more popular. After all, you can feed more people from a turkey than you can from a goose. This is Eliza Acton's recipe for stuffing the Christmas turkey. Um, unlike many recipes, it's a meat-free stuffing. She calls it a force meat. Eight ounces of dry, stale breadcrumbs. Parsley, chopped fairly fine. And the thyme. And marjoram. Now the spices. Half a teaspoon of pepper. Okay. Now the cayenne pepper, and again about half a teaspoon. Salt, say a teaspoonful, and a bit of grated nutmeg. Now the lemon rind. Butter next, so I'm going to put the lump in and work it through with my hands. Now the last thing to go into our stuffing is our egg yolks to bind it all together. goes into the turkey, it is a very dry mix. That means that the breadcrumbs are eager to draw out and absorb all the juices from the turkey. Just wet enough to hold together when you squeeze it. Now, the recipe tells me to put it in the breast, so the next thing I've got to do is just ease my fingers between the skin and the breast. Now the force meat can just go into that space. Massaged it into place. Now I need to prepare it for roasting. So I've got to start by trying to tie them up. Now, if I was just going to oven roast this turkey, I wouldn't really need to do very much trussing, just hold the stuffing in. But this is going to be open roasted in front of the fire, which means it's going to dangle on string and twist and turn. Now, the butter on the paper obviously is against the breast, it's going to help to keep everything moist. Just going to use a couple of bits of string to hold the paper in place. There we are. One turkey trussed up. We started off just by putting a good big dollop all over. And as the butter melts and runs down the bird, it'll collect in the little basin at the bottom and I'll be able to scoop it up and pour it back on again. Now I've got to wind up my bottle jack. It's a piece of clockwork that just turns the meat round for me, first one way and then back the other. And all I've got to do is move it to the fire. So this is a Victorian Christmas turkey. To find the full recipe, visit the website at bbc.co.uk forward slash Victorian Christmas.